Welcome people of YouTube, Jack Gash here again today. Thank you for joining me and thank you for clicking on this video. How to deal with energy vampires. So, the best way to describe an energy vampire is somebody who saturates en energy. Saturates energy out of your life, out of your feelings, out of your emotions, out of your person. Saturating it out of you, draining you. You'll notice energy vampires in your life and you can cast your thoughts into your life and feel who may be sucking life out of you. You'll feel this person when they enter the room. You'll feel this person when you get into conversation with them. They may have a constant negative mind state. They may have a pessimistic view on the world. They may only want to talk about coronavirus, which is not a really positive topic in today's world at the moment, especially with contrasting of views and arguments that can be created through talking through that. You know, so how do you deal with energy vampires? I mean, we're saying all this. Do the news, is that draining? Is media draining you? Is social media draining you? What is draining your energy away from you in your life? What is making you feel unfulfilled? What is making you question yourself um, to a degree that you don't know what you're doing or who you are anymore? Energy vampires, how do we deal with this? Now, the thing is, life works on vibrations. People work on vibrations. Everybody's vibrating at a level. That might be high, that might be low, that might be anywhere in between. You know, you'll notice high vibrational people because they make you feel good about yourself. You feel excited to go see them. Um, you know, you feel energised when you're with them or even after. You know, there's an after effect of being with a high vibrational person because they, they're upbeat, they make you feel good. And there's low vibrational where you feel a bit of a dip after being with somebody. It might be an older relative that wants to moan all the time or something like that. It feels quite heavy after you've been in company or listened to this person. So to deal with this properly, you've got to first become aware of this person. Now, it's not always their fault. Sometimes it's unconscious behaviour that makes people the way they are, although they should take accountability. But becoming aware of it, that is step one. Being aware of who drains and who is an energy vampire in your life. Now, for me, I stopped watching the news years ago. Like, I find out what's happened on media, on news, through friends and relatives or from people I see working. I never go looking for it myself. I never actually actively ingest and digest and invest time in the news and stuff because I feel like it operates at a lower vibration than I operate at. I feel like I'm quite a high vibrational person. So when I watch the news and stuff, it doesn't operate on the same level. It doesn't talk about happy, nice things. It either tells me when people are dying or what the next rules are or whatever's coming next and more fear. You know, I don't choose to live like that. So even the news might be draining you. So. If you're aware that this might be doing this, then maybe you should take a break from this person. Step one, become aware. Step two, take a break. It's not often that you'll realise this, but sometimes just taking a step back away from that friend or relative that's draining your energy or making you feel a bit down, taking a break's refreshing. It gives you time away, it gives you space away to review your relationship, to review the communication and the negotiation you have with the person in question. So having a break, you get to reflect, you get to look. So when you come back into communication, unless you want to cut the person off, I mean, it might be that drastic, I'm not telling you to do anything, um, but you may come back with a fresh mind, which you can deal and operate with better. If you see an energy vampire on a regular basis, they will saturate you and take every life out of you. Why do energy vampires operate this way? It's because when people operate at a low vibration or a lower vibration, they have to gain energy from other things. You'll know a chauvinistic person who has a low self-esteem, who has to make the room feel like they're being looked at. This is 
an energy vampire. Somebody who has to get the whole room to look, look at me, look at me, look at me, because they're low self-esteem, they're low vibration. You know? Think about this. This is just psychology, this is just reviewing life and the way I see it, you know? Um, and then step three is protect yourself. So when you've visited a person who is an energy vampire or somebody who's saturating your energy, fulfill yourself back up again. And when you're in company, protect yourself. Don't get into the chat. Don't get into the negative talk. Don't get into the bitchiness. Because the minute you accept and join them on that level, you have given some of your energy away all the time. And don't think that money is the most important thing because time is. Time is most important. Energy is most important because them are the two things that are limited. Money can be unlimited depending how hard you work, depending on how successful you are. It can be unlimited, boundless. But time, you ain't got a lot of that shit. And energy, that's, that's, that's got a limitation too. So take care of them things. Number three, protection. Protect them two things. Don't waste your time with people who bring you down and make you feel bad about life because life's too short for that shit. And number four, be happy. You've got the knowledge, you've got the ideas, put it into practice. Put it into practice. Number one, become aware. Number two, take a break. Number three, you know, protect yourself, even when you're in company. And number four, put these principles into practice. And believe me, you can gain a healthier, more stable relationship with an unhappy person through doing these practices, quite simply. Um, as I always say on this channel, peace and love to anybody watching this. Make sure you take it easy. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to try and keep on with my content. I've been super busy. There's been so much stuff going on. Prime example, I ain't got no lights in my house, so I'm operating on lamps. Um, but we move and, you know, we adapt. That's what life's about, adapting. So, yeah, man, take it easy, keep happy, and watch out for the energy vampires in your life. Woohoo!